Hi everyone, my name is Lynn and I help people connect to their truest self. So today's video is going to be all about things that we do that block us from spiritually growing. Now I believe that we are all spiritual beings, whether some people identify themselves as being spiritual or not. Um, so there are things that we do on this earthly plane and realm that actually prevent us from evolving on a consciousness level. And so I want to make this video today as a way to identify some of the things, some of the traps that we get entangled in on this earthly realm um, so that you guys can hopefully become aware and move through those blockages. So the first thing that's preventing you from spiritually growing or evolving is this thing called the trap of superior superiority. So basically what that is, is I recognize that along this awakening journey, um, we do tend to get caught up within our ego. So basically our ego, early, early on our awakening journey, our ego recognizes that it has a possibility of dying. It could disappear for a long, long time or even forever. And because of that, it's basically hanging on for a dear life. And one of the ways it's hanging on is that it makes us believe or think that because we are on this awakening journey, we are somehow superior or better than those people who are um, not consciously on this journey. So people who's considered asleep. So basically we're awake, there's the asleep people. So that's a really common trap that I see, you know, I see people um, get get stuck in this mentality of, you know, people who um, can't see beyond the veils of illusions or can't see what's actually going on, the truth and the reality, people who don't who don't understand energy um, or vibrations or just anything to do with consciousness seem to be looked down on or or don't seem to be seen as being good enough. Now um, yeah, and that's and that's really a big trap. And the reason why it's a trap is because it keeps us separated from one to another. You know, it keeps us separated from the people that's considered awake, and um, compared to the people that's considered asleep. Now we know that along this awakening journey, the ultimate, I guess, idea of this or experience is that to realize that we are all one, to move away from this um, realization of separation to oneness. And so when we judge someone or think that we are somehow better than another because that we are waking up, we are creating more of an illusion of separation rather than moving towards the idea of oneness. So yes, it is a very common trap. Um, and I think uh, most people along this awakening journey would have gone through it. I know I went through it, particularly along my dark night of the soul journey when I was just feeling really down and to be honest hating the world because I was just so angry at other people thinking how can you not see these things how can you not see the illusions just wake the heck up all those sorts of things so yes it is a trap it, it prevents us from growing because it prevents us from connecting um, and realizing that we are all along our own journey together you know rather than saying that you are better than another because you are you are awake or considered waking up just realize that we are all on our own separate journeys we are all experiencing what our soul came here to experience and there is no right or wrong way or one way better than another so yes the second thing that's blocking you from spiritually growing is that you're trying forcefully trying to wake other people up now this is a trap that we get on to get stuck into in our early awakening journey, particularly in our dark night of the soul, when we have been bombarded with all this information, all this knowledge of what's actually going on, you know, the, or, or the truth behind media, or the truth behind um, corporations and animal industries, all those sorts of things. And so we try so hard going to our friends and families, trying to wake other people up. And that is one of the biggest things that stop you from spiritually growing. And so when we enforce our beliefs onto someone, we are saying that our ego is basically saying that we our beliefs are better and more correct than another person and so what we want to move away from is that we want to realize is that we can't enforce our beliefs into other people because that does prevent our spiritual growth so what we want to do is simply shed light about our beliefs where it is appropriate obviously and we only shed light about our beliefs um, to the extent where we uh, to the extent where 
people are able to receive so I would never force my beliefs or views onto people that I know that are not ready to hear certain things or um, are ready to receive certain information basically so yes I really do think be wary of how much you're trying to wake other people up I do think we all have really good intentions you know we want people to see the other side and to wake up and experience this journey of um, spirituality and all those sorts of things but what we're actually doing is preventing our, our, our own spiritual growth and it ties back to the first point in saying that we are all on our own journey and some people's souls or some souls have already contracted and saying before coming here and saying that they are not going to wake up in this lifetime so yes it's really to understand that we are all our own journey and we can't forcefully put our beliefs that we have now accumulated new new beliefs that we accumulate onto other people so the third thing that you're doing that may be blocking your spiritual growth is that you're thinking that there's only one way of doing certain things. Now, I was really stuck in this thought uh, really, really early on. You know, I saw when I was reading and watching certain things, I thought there's only one way of experience, experiencing certain experiences. And I see that a lot of other people too. So for example, people might get stuck with this idea that there is only one way of experiencing a kundalini awakening or one way of um or people think that if they don't experience a certain sixth sense or develop certain sixth sense so clairvoyance clairaudience or having empath skills they think that they are not as good as other people that who have those skills or abilities or they think that they are perhaps not going along this journey as well um, compared to those people who have those traits so yes there is not one way of going along this awakening journey it is all unique to every single person so if there's seven billion people on this planet there's basically seven billion ways of going through this awakening journey you know I see people get stuck in thinking that there is one way to eat one way to be or talk and sit and do their lifestyle or that they think they should be wearing certain clothes. I remember when I was making, when I first started making videos, when it's really, really early on, I was so self-conscious of what was in my background. I was thinking like, do I need to look the part? You know, do I need to take out all of my crystals from my drawers and shove them in the background and, you know, put incense and all those sorts of things? Like, do I need to look the part? Because I'm, I was afraid that if I didn't look the part, then people won't take me seriously. And that's one of the traps that I obviously didn't follow through with my egoic thought. But that's one of the traps that people fall into, thinking that if they are along this awakening journey, that they should be aware of certain things, you know, or eat certain things. You know, I talk a lot about veganism, but in no way do I mean that in order to wake up, you have to be vegan or cut out meat, all those sorts of things. It was just simply a natural part or process of my journey. And again, saying that just because you own crystals or all those sorts of things, it doesn't mean you... Uh, you know forcing yourself either you know a lot of people just naturally progress and resonate towards those things so they naturally flow in that direction and that's what you want to happen naturally allow yourself to be attracted and to be drawn towards certain things rather than thinking that I'm waking up so I should like certain things I'm waking up so I should eat certain things just allow yourself to be naturally drawn to whatever it is and it will look very different to other people or it may look very the sim uh, very much so similar it's okay whatever it is just know that it's your own journey and there's no right or wrong way of doing it so the fourth and final thing that's preventing you from spiritually growing is that you are not addressing your blockages now this is one of the biggest things that we are here on earth to do our souls came here through human form um, to experience certain things and one of those things is um, to experience our emotional blockages and karmic depths and cycles because like I said in my previous video and if you guys watch we're here to experience that because when we are able to, to transmute and release those blockages we're then able to experience our truest being our truest form which is on the other side which is unconditional love and purest form and so if we don't work through or become aware even so the first step is to become aware if we don't become aware of our emotional blockages and patterns you're going to continue to live in this life through repeats so you may grow through careers you may grow through having different relationships and you know physical progressions you know you may have kids and buy a house all those sorts of things all those sorts of physical um, material growth 
but you won't be able to experience your spiritual growth because you're still going through your karmic depth and karmic cycle so the idea is to be able to become aware of what's in your karmic depth or what's part of your karmic depth and cycle so that you can release them so that you're able to transmit to a new level of consciousness so yes those are the four things that could be possibly preventing you from um, spiritually growing to a, ne a new level of consciousness um, I'm constantly experiencing uh, all these things all these things and I think we all are because there is that is a way of growing you know that is a way of expanding our consciousness if things were just even and equal and easy um, and there's no challenges then we won't be able to grow so yes I would say have a look at some of the things that's currently blocking you and seeing how you can work through it so yes I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I will see you guys next time bye